worldwide, especially here in Southwest Florida. So today we're at Harry Chapman Food Bank, which is a local food bank that provides for the people in the community. For the explanation of the project, um, during this project, we were able to really take a look at um, outside of just where we are and how we were able to get our food and we were able to look at it from a different point of view in just the same town you live in. It's honestly crazy to see that there's so much um, starvation and hunger issues in our small town in, Fort Mar um, in Florida. Um, Fort Myers is um, honestly, there's a lot of struggle with homeless people and people who are starving, families who can't feed their kids at night, kids who don't have lunches and can't afford for lunches at school. So this organization that we worked with really like helps open your eyes and understand like the difference that could be made in your own town and where you live and go to school and make a difference. Um, it's really sad to see kids come and pick up food so they can have school lunches the next day and these moms who work all day can't bring food home for their kids. So it's honestly a blessing and it's super humbling to be able to help and um, understand what's going on in our own neighborhood. It's um, honestly an awesome experience and this um, food bank was, is so helpful, super clean, they're huge, they're awesome. Um, and the work that they do, it just touches lives of millions of people every day. So the people we worked with and volunteered for was the Harry Chapman Food Bank. Um, they have a location in Fort Myers as well as down in Naples. Um, they are the largest food bank in Southwest Florida um, and they are completely a nonprofit organization. Um, they feed more than a quarter of a million people each month. Um, they help feed people um, that are in families, children, and seniors. 32% of the demographic is children, 19 is seniors, and then the rest will be um, families and um, single individuals. Um, there's multiple different ways to give and help out this organization. Ways to give include donating money so that they can go out themselves and go to grocery stores and um, kind of fill the gaps that are needed in um, areas that they aren't getting as much help as well as donating food, um, any dry goods, anything that you are able to donate um, can get used and sent out right away. And then donating time, um, going in and helping is um, a lot what we did in our group. Um, we were able to go there and help put things in, package them and sort them. Um, as you uh, might know, there's when you get all this food in, you have to kind of organize it and make dairy and dry goods and helping them there and just the extra hands always help. Um, so there's always ways to help them and donate and make a difference in Fort Myers. Hi guys, so I just wanted to shed some light on my perspective of being able to work with Harry Chapman Food Bank for the last couple of weeks. It has honestly been one of the most rewarding experiences for me and I'm sure my group partners can say the same thing. Being able to see what all goes on behind the scenes and how much hard work and dedication not only the people who run it put into it, but also the volunteers. I made so many friendships and connections throughout meeting all of them and working with them, ranging from high schoolers to college students, even to elders who are retired and who take time out of their day just to come and help whenever they can because they love it so much. And I feel that it's so rewarding because of how they make the experience for you. The environment and the atmosphere in there is so fun and welcoming and they make it just so fun that it doesn't even feel like you're volunteering. And I think that's why I enjoyed it so much because I did not feel like I was doing work at all. But the impact of what we did for over the last couple of weeks is insane, especially to the people of the Southwest Florida community who are in need and who all of these food products go to. It's amazing to see, and I'm so happy that I was able to be a part of it. And I can't wait to go back after and continue volunteering there because I had such a great time. And I know that after talking with the people who run it, they are so thankful always for all their volunteers who take time out of their day and that come and help. And it was just such an amazing experience and I'm forever thankful that I was able to be a part of it all. So our experience working with a food bank like Harry Chapman's uh, 
actually connects to the different values we've learned about in this class in a very direct way. Um, obviously, when you're working at a food bank, you're going to have a very high connection with that service component we talked about. Uh, because with a food bank, oftentimes the work they're going to be having you doing is directly on the ground with the physical manpower they need. In a lot of cases, that can be unpacking the goods they donate, that can be sorting them, that can be helping run the processes that allow people to actually come to a food bank and receive this food. And I think that being on the ground in that way, in these very grounded, personal environments where you are directly interacting with your community, is one of the most direct and wholesale examples of service you can see especially through an experience like this where you are again directly working with the sort of people in your community who are suffering from an inability to have food uh, food unavailability or the price of food and therefore by directly working like this you're able to see exactly that this food that's donated and the labor you are giving to the organization is going directly back to the community around you and the people who need it most. Uh, however, service isn't the only thing you can get from working at a place like a food bank and helping to eliminate food equality in the community. Uh, we talked about associating a little bit at the beginning of the year this idea of being able to find out your personal values through working in tandem with other people around you. So working at food banks like Harry Chapin's provide these invaluable experiences for self-actualization. So by working with others in a large group like the ones you work at in a food bank, you get to learn a lot about your personal values and how you interact with people around you, not only on a community level, but also on a team building level. You get to see how you work when you have to sort of drive a situation, or how you work when you are being guided through a situation. It also makes this feeling of camaraderie when you are working hand in hand with people like this. So when you're working in large groups like you might have at a food bank, you are then in turn learning a lot about your personal values. Uh, it also gives you a better idea of a place in your community overall. You can sort of paint this larger picture of what your community looks like as a whole and therefore how you fit into it in sort of this grander scheme vision. And it's through this, I think, this sort of, again, on the ground, very physical work that we learn how we associate with others and therefore who we really are and again, what things we value the most in our communities and how then we decide to interact with those ideas which then continues on into the idea of active citizenship and being an active citizen. The difference between not being aware of ideas in your community and where people need help, and then being able to translate that into becoming a conscientious citizen by being aware of the problems in your community and the root cause of them, and then translating that eventually into active citizenship, where, like you would be at a food bank, working actively to eliminate those problems within your community. Now, obviously, again, when we talked about the idea of being an active citizen and being able to work in your community in a direct way, that is the best way to make that jump from being a conscientious citizen. Uh, again, someone who, for example, like we had in this project, is aware about problems like food scarcity in their community. Again, like the heavy food scarcity, that is here down in Florida, and then being able to translate that into realizing the idea of food scarcity, for example, is very heavily caused by poverty. How can we help eliminate these issues of food security? And then you go, okay, we have food banks, and food banks are often providing a much more cost-effective way for these people to be able to receive food that is nourishing and uh, and healthy and filling in a way that is not so impactful on their personal funding and finances that they are able to receive this and their families are able to receive this better nutrition. And when you decide to then work at a food bank near you, you look up places near you that do food pantries, food banks, 
and then you decide to actively start working with those food pantries, those food food banks, dedicating your personal time to helping combat this problem now that you understand the root causes of it in your community. And that helps you make the transition into making those active life choices that make you an active member of your community. And it really goes to show how directly tied the ideas of civic engagement are with figuring out where these problems are in your community and then taking the steps to figure out how people are trying to solve these problems and making that decision for yourself to help give back to your community in return. I've personally worked with food banks a lot in the past. I actually grew up, while not in Florida, in a town that was pretty far before the poverty line. So a lot of people in my community did have a lot of problems with food insecurity. And so I've spent a lot of my time growing up where I did, working with places like food banks around me. And I found that experience very much the same at Harry Chaplin's, where you're getting to work with people who are directly in your community and you're getting to give back to them in a way that is completely invaluable for the people around you. I think when you grow up without any insecurity around food, you sort of don't directly understand why food insecurity is so devastating for people. And I think, especially when you don't have that personal experience, and especially when you're from a community that has problems with food insecurity that you personally do not have, it helps open you up so much to understanding the problems your community is going through and understanding that it is everyday people who are struggling with things like food insecurity. And it's, it's such an eye-opening, powerful experience to be there, both seeing how these problems affect the people around you directly and being there with them, helping them in a way that is very day-to-day. -day. It helps not only combat the problem, but make it normal. And I think that is a very beautiful experience that everyone should take the time to try to have.